first set. A 23 year old playing a fellow 23 year old. Francis Tiafo to serve. Ready. Play. Love the team. Tiafo's backhand is very well produced, very solid. Forehand is a weapon, can hit it huge, but it does have a few extra little motions in it. And if he's nervous, that's the side that will most likely show the nerves. Vitinol. It's 13. <laughs> so, a little pacing yeah, might be just, necessary. I mean, he's hopped up. That's awesome. That was a great forehand winner. Nice smile afterwards, but there's a long way to go. <laughs> 14. 15. Kind of interesting, isn't it, that Tiafo sort of called out Rublev after he won his second round. He said, I want Rublev. Yeah, I, want, sure I want him. Yeah. Game, Tiafo. First game. I like how he's got to organize his shirt like after pretty much every point. <laughs> He's going to need about 700 of those, by the way. He's doesn't lack the sweating department. <laughs> Although it's a nice, cool night and not as humid. So yeah, that's see. true. Andre, Andre really up to serve. Uh, Francis, his twin brother Franklin, their parents were able to get out of Sierra Leone back in 96. So many, so many troubles there. Very dangerous place to raise kids. And his father became the head of maintenance at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in Maryland. So Francis, it's a great place. Up. I've had the joy of being there many times. Francis was watching all these kids play tennis. And he just kind of fell in love with it. But he had no training. He watched lessons. And then he would find rackets that had been abandoned in garbage bins and then where he'd try some demo rackets. Hit against the wall then. And it's why you talk about his funky forehand. He had to try so many different rackets <laughs> that every and they all had different tensions and different <laughs> string patterns uh, and that's why he had to keep adjusting as he was hitting against the wall. Interesting. Yeah, one of his coaches told me that. how game he was and how much he loved 13 he loved him. 15 and they started giving him equipment and, and he was taking sh shirts out of the lost and found and wearing them they were too big on him they were too little on him he had sneakers that he had to open up because they were getting small on him hmm. now boxes, Let's and boxes of stuff come to his house and now he's living out this dream
good work from Rublev to sort of, he's got to 14, try to 15. keep the crowd out of it mm. the best he can and just be methodically controlling a lot of these points. Tiafo's very dangerous on return of serve, especially if he's getting a look game at some second Rublev. serves. One and game over. some pressure on Rublev's serve. Rublev has played here. He got to the quarters of the US Open again when he was just a kid, 17, then like 2020 this. here. And he got to the quarters of Roland Garros in 2020. This year, the Australian, he got to the quarters. And he's done a lot of winning the last year. Love and 15. That's that's the exactly. thing that's amazing about Rublev. He's I love that. Oh, no matter what, that forehand, he is going to let it fly. This is no pace to work with. Thirty feet behind the baseline, and he hits that. Fifteen, thirty. Different than Rafa, who's hitting sort of 15, super heavy and 14. running around, but it's a similar feel. Once he gets one of those forehands, to get it away from his forehand again is difficult to get out of that trap. And he'll just keep clubbing forehands till he finishes the point. Couple break chances. Leads two games to one for sets. Fifth enough. Fifteen on. Thirty, fifteen. Hundred twenty eight mile an hour serve, but I actually felt as though that was very returnable for Francis. Chess pace wasn't that well placed. Thirty on we have grew up playing with Daniel Medvedev and his kids. Can never really 
beat him until he got him on his way to the final in Cincinnati. Masters 1000. So he's coming in pretty hot. He had five tour titles last year alone. He was the king of winning the 500s. So 13, the 14. He's dominating match after match. He's got himself down a break point, however. Tiafo, if he gets second serves, will be able to apply pressure. Right now, the backhand for Rublev has been a little bit off. He's made a couple of errors from that wing. Please. Francis needed yes. to make that return. Such an aggressive returner, Tiafo. He's halfway between the service line and the baseline when he hit that shot. That's Francis' dad. Advantage, Rubliev. Game, Rublev. Rublev leads three games to one. First set. One thing that's nice about this matchup, we're going to see some big hitting. We're going to see Tiafo get into the net sometimes. We're going to see a little variety. But they're also going to play quickly. I don't know if they'll give you time to talk about usopen.org. Right? <laughs> that's where you can find stats and draw the draws and Stuff about your favorite players. Oh, I mean, that, here's the thing, Jimmy. I look at this guy. I love the team. He hits, but all I want to do is run down courtside and give him a hoagie. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> I, it shows you you don't need muscle to hit it hard. He's. Let he the has any time at all on the forehand. Forget it. He's just going to take a mighty. Wallop, and they all go in. That one stayed in. It's a wallop also. 15 all. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thirty old. Volley's covers the net well. He likes it up there. Yeah. This was an uncomfortable position to be in, but he hit a beautiful drop shot. Yes.
Advantage, Tiafo. Rublev's not that the stoic Russian that you sort of think of, or he'll start screaming at the drop of a hat. It's funny when Rublev discusses yes. the junior matches he played against Daniel Medvedev, the second seed. He said they were both cheating. They were both making really lame calls. They were fighting with each other. They were crying. That's hilarious. <laughs> the scenes, they that must have been. Advantage, Jeffo. If they recognized that they were both going to be, I mean, they're both top ten in the world. Yep. Rublev leads three games to two for set. So far, Rublev has done a pretty good job of staying ahead. Yeah, he has to help them. He's got to give them something to go crazy for. Yep. Oh! He's not afraid to showboat. Oh, no. No. Could happen right here on the second serve. He didn't come in. Love it, team. Fifteen all. They both had two aces now. Difference is Rublis serving seventy three percent for a serve. That has to go down. Or Tiafa will, will be in trouble. Thirty, fifteen. Rublev doing a better job of getting the first serve return back. Forty, fifteen. Rublev leads four games to do for set. Kappa just has to continue to hold serve and expect and hope that 78% first serve percentage when you're hitting it flat as hard as you can every time <laughs> won't continue at that type of percentage. Fifteen. He cannot Love. hit just sort of a rally ball to Rublev's forehand at any time, or he, it's he is gonna just wallop it. He, he, every shot has to have purpose against him. Francis gives a forehand a thump. Some purpose. 30 left. Force Rublev to let go of the two hander and slice the one hander and then actually lace that forehand inside in. 40 left. Release from the American. If I'm not mistaken, Rublev, when he lost, one of the times he lost in the quarters was to Medvedev at this tournament, I believe. 
I remember thinking, I heard that he always loses to him. And I, before the match, I'd seen their matches leading up, and I thought Rublev was just playing so much better than mm. Medvedev. Didn't know if that was a mental thing. Or just... 40, 15. can deflect pace so well, I don't care how hard Rublev hits it, Medvedev will keep it coming back. Game, Tiafo. New balls, please. Tiafo holds, but he's still in the hole. 4-3, Rublev, first set. Four games to three, first set. Rublev serving with new balls. 15 left. Thirty left. Forty left. Well, I was wrong. He's not going to be able to keep serving at seventy-eight percent because he's now at eighty-one percent. He keeps not missing serves. Game over. Just step into the line. Over. Leads five games to three for set. Yeah. That's number six. Thank you. Fifty enough. Fifty no. Thirty, fifteen. So far, this has been a match of very quick points. Mm -hmm. Both players are athletic. Both players can defend. But both players are just trying to take the first ball that they can see and hit it as hard as they can. Forty, fifteen. Rublev leads five games to four. Fifteen left. Wait, at some point, <laughs> if you're Tiafo, maybe give him a different look yeah. on where you stand. Something to try to get in Rublev's head because the rhythm's perfect on the serve in this set so far. And it's just too tough. You can't really cope with that combination of first serve. 30 left. He swat with the next ball.
Kotilev. Gang and first set, Rublev. Six games to fall. It's going to be hard to beat. First set went by in 31 minutes. Please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. Fifteen, love. Thirteen, love. Fourteen, love. Twenty-eight. Sixth ace of the match for Tiafo. Rublev's got seven. Second set. Just going through these games so quickly. Yeah. Both players holding serve really in a matter of minutes. It's almost as if other players sunk their teeth yet into this match. The fans haven't been able to. Oh, it's just it's a blink of an eye and there's a game. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Fifteen left. At some point, if you're Tiafa, you got to try what I tried once on Brad Gilbert. What's that? The changeover. I said, "Congratulations, you never miss a first serve anymore." Thirteen left. <laughs> and he goes, "Thank you." And he kept not missing first serves. It didn't work at all. He thought I was really complimenting. Him. Tiafo, by the way, just tried something different. He stood way in on the first serve, just halfway to the service line, trying to show him a different look. Mm -hmm. I would have probably gone the other direction yeah, back. Exactly. Oh, but you got to make that when you got 14. the second serve Love. opportunity. You got to make him feel Rublev a little pressure when he misses first serves that he's going to be punished. Game, Rublev. Whole game. One Whole game, game on second set. Rublev. Yeah, Tiafa's got to figure out a way to pressure him. He's had one look at a break point, didn't make it. Rublev had one look and made it. Fifteen left. Thirty left. Forty left. Oh, I'm telling you how 
good. Tiafos touches that time not good enough. And Rublev's not 14, the easiest guy 15. to drop shot against in general because he doesn't really back up. He's, he takes full swings even close to the baseline. His points are so quick. It's it feels like Wimbledon before it changed the game. Tiafos got a couple of shots and that's it. Tiafo leads two Tiafo games to one in the second set. set. First set, Rublev. Back on this court that has seen so many surprises to me. What a first week of the U.S. Open, but on this day, Tsitsipas losing to an 18-year-old, Carlos Alvarez, and then an 18-year-old woman. Well, if you saw the return of serve off from the position Tiafo was in, and he hit it three billion miles an hour, he still had to run <laughs> for Love miles 15. away. He got there, took him a couple more shots, but that was a brilliant return that deserved the crowd to yes. get it involved. Now he's got to do it again to Ex keep him there. Exactly. Right? He's got to keep him there. He just messed up the toss, Rublev. Maybe yeah, he's see? shaken for the first time. And Tiafo way back. For the return. So Leila Fernandez, another 18-year-old, took out Naomi Osaka. Osaka 15 answered four questions in English, and then it switched over to Japanese. And in Japanese, she, to the Japanese press, she mentioned that she had said to her agent in the hallway, I feel like when I win, I don't feel happy, I feel relief. And when I lose, I feel very sad. And I don't think that's normal. Yikes, the moderator stepped in, and Naomi wanted to finish her thought. Osaka said, I honestly don't know when I'm going to play the next time this match. 15 and 13. And then she said, I think I'm going to take a break from playing for a while. And she left in tears. Yikes. I told you I have that same feeling with Djokovic, not quite to that level, but that he feels more relief mm. than joy playing. You can see it. Thank you. Way back. Thank he's you. Be able to get the return back and play and at least start the point. And he's so quick, he can still. Do that. Please, please. Should have recognized Tiafo. Please. Medvedev always beats. <laughs> Look at what that return was hit for. Medvedev always yes. beats. beats Rublev, and he's the guy that starts the return. That's right. From the seats. Gets a lot of back exactly. Him. But I think Tiafa would from if he where stayed he there. Is. Yeah. Well, let's see if he keeps it up. Good pressure. Man advantage. Taking Rublev. his return from the center court deep. Pretty good drop volley. Rublev a little fortunate that he caught the top of the tape and the line. Two break points gone.
뉴스 Let first of Advantage, Rublev. things I said was a bit of a difference. Rublev doesn't really have that mm. kind of stuff. If you can make him make him play awkward. Lead for surf. You just try to bang with him, he's pretty tough to beat. Advantage, Rublev. I think you're right, Jimmy. I don't think it's doing Tiafo any good to stay in tight on the, his returns. It hasn't worked At all. yet. No. Yeah, I mean, I think you put that away and get more returns back. At least the backing way up for the first serve has sort of caused Rublev's serve to break down. <laughs> Pretty good game, Rublev. Gets out of trouble. Two games all, second set. First opportunity, Tiafo really had to get the crowd involved. They got involved for a minute, but he couldn't seal the deal. And then I think he's going to have to recognize, even when he hit, that was a nice second serve return that he hit from inside the baseline. The problem was he's not, if it's not a winner, he's not in a defensive enough position to run down the next ball. Right. I think so. It was awfully close. Fifth enough. That was good. So athletic. Uh, Both of these guys. Yeah. One looks the part a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen left. Thirty, fifteen. was giving that sideline a workout. The, the camera was out by that much. Let's 
Professor. Forty fifteen. Both these players might want to think about taking a step back on return because neither are making enough yeah. returns from where they're standing. They're both ultra aggressive. They both think the same way. Forty thirty. When you see they both stand right up on the baseline and take yes. this. This is like an alpha match. Yes. Right? Boom, boom, boom. It's yeah. ping pong. And then a little more time. Get that out of here. Hey, okay. yeah. Rublev just backed way up. Oh. And did an advantage. That's <laughs> number seven for the American. Yes. You cannot just serve up a rally ball to Rublis forehand. And I think Tiafa was trying to hit his backhand cross court. It just sort of got too central and it allowed Rublis to have enough time to take a full cut mm. at that forehand and you're in trouble when he gets that time. Advantage Rublev. Two long, drawn-out games where Tiafo had the yes. first opportunities to win both of these games. He missed a sitter back in 40-15 in this game. If he loses this point, these are sort of pivotal moments in a match. Mm. Crowd recognizes it. They're trying to get behind Francis. He's just struck his first double fold to the match. Francis Tiafoe's coach for one day, and you get to change one thing about his game. Ready and yes. That's an, an interesting question because it wouldn't be. I don't think I'd mess. At this point, technique is relevant. His technique is what he's got. Okay. I don't want to take away the aggression that he plays with. Okay. But I like him to get more Advantage. aware of, I, I guess, the situation. I'm not sure. Play the score better? Yes. Mm. I don't know if you could teach him that in one minute. <laughs> it was one day. Okay. I was giving you a full day. Okay. An afternoon. Just recognize yes. that he's athletic enough to, there are times when you play defense, and he yeah. doesn't oh. look for that ever. Yes. Side spin inside out 
Here it comes again. Can volley. The tails away. Mm. That's beautifully done. Devil. Again, Jeffel. That was eight holes. Two out for the holes. Jeffel leads three games to two, second set. The group left leg is by one set to left. That was. That was, and he came through, so we're in for a match. He's still trying to figure out how to return this guy. I think he's got it figured out in the first serve because it has crushed the first serve percentage ever since Diafo moved back. Love 15. I mean, this is a great pass, exactly what you would want, but perfect touch and speed to run down that ball and then the little showmanship that Francis can bring. Oh, yes. Got to make that return from 15 that point. I mean, that's the thing. You can't hit the net. Yeah. Right? It's not like Rublev's serving in volley. Thirty, fifteen. Is there a tiny bit of a momentum swing. Tiafo couldn't do much in the first set. And that was the longest rally. Tiafo is the one who gets the best of it. And I, if he can stay back this far and get the return in play over and over again, it's just that he's Oops. not accustomed to playing from back there. So he thinks he 14, should try to win. 13. He's got to watch Medvedev tapes. You'd never get aced and you put it in. And big <laughs> servers hate that. serve taken backhand down the line. Players, when they hit that kick serve, they just naturally sort of fall a little bit to the left. Right. They're, going They're the looking for forehands anyway, and they just, the body naturally goes that way. You could make some hay with that return. <laughs> Second game in a row. Yep. Ever since he's changed his return position, Tiafo's had a Great chance. Please, please. That's the issue with I like taking the return early, I like attacking. The problem is if you're the least bit nervous and you don't connect, mm. you are not in a position where you can, you're done. Yes. Points over. 0 for 4 now is Tiafo in break points one. Oh, he's had looks, you're right, at these last couple of games. Advantage, Rublev. Oh. 
Game Rublev, new bots please. Three games all, second set. I really like the idea of staying way back to return in this match, but you've got the reason you're back there is to put the return in. He missed two forehands from way back there. He was there for both of them. Fifty enough. Thirty left. Well, we'll see if we can get back to those. Every game takes a minute. Yes, this set is three all, and it's. Two minutes longer than the first set was. Because we've had a couple of long games. Both of them had some chances to break. 131. Biggest serve today for Tiafo, 133. Forty, fifteen. Four games to three, second set. Ruben beats by one set to left. One set to left. On serve in the second. Rublev up a set. Oh. Oh. Love the team. Running in hazardly to say, if you float one back, I've got control. And somehow Rublev didn't just get it back, he got it back low. Had a little pressure. 15, 13. That, again, that second serve to the backhand. If you can see that side spin on it, if you can get that to the forehand off a kick second serve, you're going to pay dividends. 30 old. Oh. 
30 14. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Let for surf. <laughs> Pretty good return. <laughs> Again, Tiafo 0 for 4 on break points. Again, Tiafo. Tiafo leads five games to three second sets. So Rublev wants the racket restrung as fast as possible. He's got a favorite, seemingly. They had him down that game. Ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was excellent anticipation to start with because Rublev left early mm. knowing that angle was coming, but then hit the forehand with great pace. He's number 10. One for the the final. Final. Biggest one so far. Jeffo does take about 17 tugs on his shirt yeah. after every point. You're right yeah. about that. Roddick, he's remember Roddick yeah. needed to do that after every point, too. did stay in. It stayed in and it was 30, not that easy to 40. deal with mm -hmm. because it had no pace, fairly deep. We would still saw plenty of day one. Can, we can create a lot of pace with not a lot to work with. This could get the set right back on serve. to me is a deuce to get out of this game it's going to be with some first serves either free points like you just saw or first serve and a short return that he can take advantage of there's a little look at the stringer getting the racket fast wow Careful. Is that a curious, like, where do I serve? Serve that wide and give the. 
crowd <laughs> some props. I think so. He pointed to him right after hitting yeah. it. Beautiful serve out wide. Please. Uh, yeah. We're getting some illegal coaching? Yeah. Oh, okay. Six games to three, one set over. Set a piece. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> did you also well, have a special play? I did. No, <laughs> it, was, it was a wood racket. And by the last tournament I was playing with it, it was, oh. it was bending 40 oh, feet. It needed, it needed to go to the press. 30 left. That little short cross court slice to Rublev. He doesn't want to be at the net. 40 he can't left. take his full cut from that position. But then you got to force him to hit the volley. Yes. That's it. First serve. Fifteen. Game Rublev. Rublev just served out first game. game. Third set. Fifteen to start the third set. Strange reaction that. Rublev had 40 lobby hit a double fault. And he's all upset about it. It's his second double fault of the match. It's at 40 love. It's okay. Take it easy. You can miss once in a while. Fifty enough. John McEnroe was a Davis Cup player under. The late great Tony Trabert. And McEnroe was complaining after a match he'd won about lines, the lines calls, the line calls and the chair umpire. He was just frustrated. Really? And Tony said, Tony Trabert said to him, how many mistakes did you make in the match? Do you think it's a good point? Good old Tony. Good now. point. Yeah. Kind of, not sure John felt that it was a great point, but it's a pretty good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think of that. Thirteen, fifteen. If you are a fan of serve plus one, <laughs> this is the match. This for you. is your match. <laughs> from that wing. That for sir. Oh. 
that you don't expect from him. That's the shot making I'm talking about. Yes. The speed. Both these players can come up with just Unbelievable stuff at times, but Rublev wasn't surprised. Nope. Thirty left. Throwing his hands up often when he misses, when he has double faults, he's had a little bit of shakiness to the second serve lately. He hasn't shown up much in this match, but that's just his third double fault, but second in the last two games. We'll see if that starts entering his Please. head. That last serve didn't have as much on it, so the rhythm was a little off. 40-15. in the second round. Game. Rublev. Rublev leads two, two games to one third set. Once at all. Takes him to 2-1 in this third set. Well, he's back. Fifteen all. A lot of winners for both these guys. That was the thirtieth for Rublev. Don't give Rublev enough credit for his ability to sort of defend. That was another really nice. One handed slice 15, down low with Jeffo coming to the net. Yeah, he really does not ever want to be on defense. No, his, but he knows what to do from there, doesn't yeah, he? Even his, his defense was offensive in some <laughs> strange way. Exactly. And I mean that both ways. <laughs> 
Virgil. the difference between Tiago and the 14. top of the game. He's got like every shot mm -hmm. that you can think of. He sometimes just misses. And the best players don't seem to do it as often or certainly not at big points. Here's a big point, a break chance for Rublev. Let's see if Tiafo can save it. Let's. Oh. First serve. Misses from Tiafo and it. Yes. It's true. A lot of matches I've watched him lose turn on those kind of shots. Is, let me ask you this. Is missing big <laughs> actually easier than missing by a, a fraction of an inch? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. If you go for a shot and it, that it, is hit Tiafo. somebody in the head in the eighth row, do you kind of get over because it it's so ridiculous? Yes, I think you might. You know, that one's easy to get out of your head. <laughs> like, right. But if you just keep missing by, yeah. by so little, that gets into your head. Oh. Oh. Yes. on that one. I thought it clipped, but the machine says no. Advantage, Jaffo. Can for Rublev is the side that's given him the most trouble. Thank you. Good get, actually, from yeah. Rublev. Look at him, look at him, his old, uh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> Thank really you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. Thank you. Please, please. please. The whole day to go, go to usopen.org. Fifteen. Oh. So at this point, Rublev's done a pretty good job of keeping the, the crowd out of it. Right as they were chanting Francis's name, he throws in an ace to start this game.
30 left. struggle with it at take your 30, serve. 15. He's very good at getting that ball in play and getting into the net so quickly. Are there that many guys on tour that are as quick as this guy? No. Some love from the crowd. It was a 15 shot rally. 40, 15. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, believers. please do not cheer before the point is over. Well, Thank they you. I didn't know the point wasn't going to be over in there in the crowd's defense. <laughs> there were a couple of shots within there that I thought it might end, but a half volley from the baseline down the line. That's the shot that you're not supposed to really try. Mobile hit it beautifully twice within that rally. Again, Mobile. Rublev leads three games I'm to two. In his third set. Third set, once at all. <laughs> Love it in. Riley Opelka, 22nd seed now. He's a seed now. He plays Nicholas Masilashvili tomorrow. Oh. He's actually got a reasonable shot to get through this you know. section of the draw. Opelka. I mean, every match in there is, is difficult, don't get me wrong. But so is he. Yes. That always amazes me when the I watch it. Of it's the inside the baseline, but still a full swing. Yeah, that's that, what that you. That combination, do. it's not supposed to happen, really. Right, you're supposed to angle it into you're supposed a to short shorter court. back swing, right. something. <laughs> something. <laughs> not just yeah. full cut, and it still goes in every time. a little bit on Tiafo serve in this set so far. And on the strength of winning first serve points, he's won five return points off first serves. But has struggled a bit on second serves. Yes. Against 12 aces. Oh, 
Both players, same number of bases and double faults. Advantage, Jeffo. so severe with some of the shots that they actually can't keep a rally going because they'll hit Just a great shot thinking this is this is my chance they'll come forward and the person on the run will hit an amazing shot well, they use each other's angles numbers are remarkably similar for these players winners errors aces double faults all of it it's mm -hmm. going to come down to who wins the couple of Key shots, key moments. This could be one of those important points. Avenitz, oh. Rublev. Oh, this is a loaded point. I mean, even the break points are the same. They're both one for five. <laughs> I mean. Yes. And spin and kept him in the point. Yes. Said one thing you can learn if you saw Tiafo there is you don't always have to have a split step. Once you hit it and you see the balls floating in the air, just get it as close to the net as you can. He got in beautifully for that volley. Good instincts, great hands. And he's got the soft skills yeah. that create these opportunities. Thank you. Game Jeffo. New words, please. Three games all third set. Ball change. That's got to be one. Out. They've had a long day of screaming and yelling. The matches on this court today have been ridiculous. Some of them. 
to 18 year olds, Alcaraz, Lila Fernandez. Well, they started with Victoria Azarenka and Garbina Muguruza. And that was a tough match won by the Spaniard. That was today. <laughs> Hang on, that started at noon. Okay. But now we're at 12.15. Yeah, I guess it's tomorrow, day. yeah. <laughs> and then Carlos Alcaraz on this court took out Stephanie Stephanie Sisi Pass in five. Please. And Leila Fernandez beat third seed Naomi Osaka in three. And here we are. Here. Levitin. He's had the chances. He's been the better player through the first six games, but hasn't managed to break through. Tiafo hasn't had any pressure on Rublis serve yet. He showed him on backing up, which when he does back up Tiafo to hit a return, Rublis presses a little, wants that free point anyway. Okay. Love the team. Backing up again, maybe protect against the, the wide serve. Love oh, for T. Please. Please. 15 and 14. I like the hit and come in mm -hmm. in the deuce court because the kick serve brings you to the center of the court. And now you've got a nice sort of look in the angle. You can't, it's difficult to do in the ad. So you've run out of, there's no court to Yes. It. 30-40. Yes. One on the second serve, and the other one, that was a very average serve. 120 with Tiafo in the fence. His target needs to be deep center on those big points on returns. Was the first little flicker of frustration from Wayne Ferreira after the way this game has gone. It's such a pivotal game. Yeah. Kind of Rublev. Rublev leads four games to three. Still on serving the third once at all. I mean, they're suddenly a tennis powerhouse in Canada. It's the strangest thing. <laughs> Never had anyone almost throughout history. Yeah. Bianca Andreescu won this thing a couple of years ago. She's still in. Take some mental fortitude from Tiafo here after Love 40 and really mm. handed the game back with a couple of missed returns. Oh. 
original. First serves, but sharply angled, both of them. Dirty old. This yes. is you talk about Jimmy. On a fairly big point, and it wasn't. Yeah. It didn't feel like the time to go for a winner. It's easy for me to say, but it was a ball, no pace down the center, deep. Yeah. You've made me very aware of that. That's the thing that Rudolph yes. can do is when he should be sort of on the defensive yeah. or at least neutral, he can still rip down the line. And you could see that Tiafo didn't expect it. It's not a shot you normally see. So I didn't expect always, it either. No, there's always a <laughs> flow to tennis, and you mm -hmm. sort of know where that shot normally your opponent hits. Served a great game, actually, from a serve perspective, Tiafo in this game. He's won number of free points. That one, 132, but right at the body. Yes. Rublev has a little guess at times to his return to serve, does. and that time was a guess, he, he, and he was waiting. He guessed correctly. They both have three chances to break in this third set. Neither has done it yet. Yes. Mr. Rublev is requesting a replay of the call. Challenging and calling will never be overturned because the machine called it. <laughs> yes. What, yeah, what good is that exactly? I don't know. He just wants to see I how... Just, he wants to see it for himself. Just how lucky Francis was. <laughs> it's the luck -a meter Yeah. And there's a look at the linesman. Fairly <laughs> impartial. Well, I feel like he should, because Rublev is a bit of a guesser, he almost never guessed body. Advantage, Tiafo. That really did handcuff him. Tiafo's absolutely served his way out of trouble in this game because he hasn't won a rally that I can remember in this game. He's just won the points with his serve. Again, but that time Rublev did slide yes. away just enough. Oh, and then it's 
call. Part of me that feels as though maybe Rublev should take a step or two back because this this game at least, Tiafo's virtually the only points he's winning is right off the serve. Once the ball's been in play, Rublev's gotten the better of Tiafo in these rallies. It's strange, isn't it? It's Tiafo yes. just throws it because he didn't expect down the line off that ball. Another long service game for Tiafo. But it feels as though that double fault was because he knows I'm losing the rallies right now. I need to win this with my serve. He went for a pretty big second serve. Both players one of eight on break chances for this match. This is a ninth chance for Rublev. Yes. There's a reason they're struggling on the break chances when they get second serves. They try to attack the second serve, but they're just a little anxious on that return. So they in close, but just don't get enough on it, and the opponent gets a clean winner every time. We're coming right on two hours. Thank you. Each set has taken a little bit longer because of the tightness of these games. Advantage, Jaffo. Please, ladies and gentlemen. their hands on a return Thanks. They it with some pop. 15 today. 13 for Rublev. These two numbers are yeah. so close in sort of everything. Yes. Thirty old. Oh. Oh. 
The stats are the same for everyone. I guess there's no chance for <laughs> Tiafo. He's one of eight. Rube was one of nine. We might as well even that up Thank like you. everything else. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. Yes. This match, it doesn't seem like there should be 43 ranking spots between these two. That's a good point. Right? Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, Rublev is at seven. you in the center you can approach from there with your favorite backhand and then close like a demon because he does close beautifully break chance number 10 this could be a little Please. different <laughs> way back medvedev stands for this return oh. i wish he'd just not move in quite as far in this return <laughs> and put one deep down the center Leads five games to four. <laughs> Kids, pay attention. That's it, once it all. <laughs> Francis Tiapo now tries to serve out this third set and take a 2 1 lead. Number five seed, Andre Rublev. Oh. Oh. Love it, team. So if I can get Rublev out of the tournament, all of a sudden this half of the draw is sort of. It's Medvedev and Medvedev. I mean, he's uh, very good players, mm -hmm. but players that you don't think of sort of being oh. in the finals of a major. Oh. Love the team. will send a statement if Tiafa plays a horrible game here and it's not a statement you want it to make. So serving for the set starts with a double fault. It's the slowest second serve he's hit at 74 miles an hour, treated harshly by Rublev. He's got to serve as well at this one again. 15-30. Second serve.
15 foot ran around that slice backhand. Got himself in the doubles alley. But still hit a pretty good forehand, and I don't know. Difficult shot to take down the line. A couple of more break chances. Rublev in this set. 0 for 5. Got 6 and 7 if he needs it. Thirty, forty. Good serve, great return. And anyway, you can fight it off. Beautiful in the end for Tiaf. And I think Rublev gave him a little look after watching that ball go past. <laughs> Just. game and a yes. half went because that's not what I said. It's sort of what's just happened is sort of a confidence mental thing for Tiafo. He had the momentum. He had everything and he let it go. Got, I don't know if you want to say he got tight. I'm not sure, but he definitely served a poor game. I said his ranking yeah. is so much lower that he's always going to get tougher draws exactly. right now than Rudy 14, is. 15. That is one of the main reasons, but I, I feel as though the other thing is he gets close against these top players and has had trouble finishing. Yeah. gotten the break. And now he has to serve to stay in this set. Got to drag this into a tie break. This set alone is, has been an hour. Lift enough. Oh. 
good team mistakes out. at the net for especially for today's players. They don't seem to be as comfortable at the net as Tiafo. Just even letting that ball go it was yeah, that reasonably was close, and he he knew. Yeah, that's someone who's been there quite a bit. That's exactly right. And someone who wants to be there. Let's preserve. Six games old, third set, tie break. I suppose fittingly, yep. we're going to have a tie break to decide this set. Thank you. Thanks. One zero. Rublev. So for Francis. I think serve for this set have the one. chances it would be a major disappointment to to find himself down two sets to one at the end of this tie break. The shot that was causing Rublev some trouble was a two-handed backhand. That came back. And the pressure's on here. The tie breaking. Back on serve. Let for serve. Three, two, Rublev. Switch sides, any break for Rublev. 
a must win point sort of here. Tampa serving 2 4, can't afford to lose another service point. Thank you. Four, three. Rublev. That's been his best play all match long. It's, we were trying to get around his backhand, couldn't. The drop shot approach, even when Rublev gets there comfortably, Thank he you. either misses or Tiafo guesses right. He gets there comfortably, but then he's uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah. Please. Go ahead. Come on in on this one. Could he not reach it? It was a little was, bit of both, yeah. maybe. It was too well struck. Oh, it's still kind of moving. Served tonight. And they're all for Francis Tiafo. You know, if Francis wins, he's got to make sure he hits one of the side balls up in that. <laughs> exactly area. right. Six, five, Rublev. Point for the Russian. This set, five double faults now. Five of his six. Yeah. In this set. In this set. And I, I could have think I'm kidding, but I almost called it before he, <laughs> after he missed the first serve, there was just a ball kid to stay running while he hit it, and I just thought, he's anxious. That should give Tiafo a ton of confidence. Seven, six, Diablo. Yeah, it's a 128 mile an hour 
Sir Francis just dribbled it over, and it turned out to be perfect yep. because that's where Rublev doesn't want to be. Francis is mine. She looks like she's not enjoying it as much as <laughs> some of the people. <laughs> it's a set point for Francis. Thank you. And he's working the crowd again. <laughs> Over Andre Rublev, the number five seed. started this match, hitting big forehands, declaring himself early. And that was a long break. Yeah, in some ways I thought that long break might help Tiafo because often you have a little bit of a sort of a breather after an emotional set like the one they just played. Is the one who has a little bit of a letdown. Uh -huh. So he took his time, you think? Maybe it was just coincidence. I don't know if the last second he just said, you know what, I'm changing clothes. He waited till mm. Rublev had already left and come back before yeah. he left. Thirteen. Yeah, there's just when he makes that that grunt, he's smashed the forehand. That's how, it looked for, that's how he looked in the first set, which went by in just 31 minutes. And the second set was 43 minutes. That last one, 72. Oh, this one's going to be skewed by the fact that it's 11 minutes because that's how long they took. They took a long break, as you said. Mm. Somewhat important game for TF. I know it sounds ridiculous. It's so early in the fourth set, but the way Rublev's come out oh. swinging. Like that? Yeah. It's feeling as though he's 13 to grab 14. The set right from the start and keep it. This is the shot that's caused him some problems all match. That one's a little deeper in the court than the ones he's been missing, but he's struggled in coming forward. This has actually been a really well-played game from Tiafo to hang in there because yeah. Rublev's 
come at him with some firepower. Maybe not a forced air there. But. Advantage for Tiafo. Fifth enough. Please. The second seed, Irina Sabalenka of Belarus, has just taken out the American Danielle Collins. 13, 15. Sets. It started to struggle in the third set. It ended up costing him the third set. And now Tiafo's starting to recognize it's landing a little shorter and a little slower. Let's preserve. New balls, please. New ball, so new racket for Francis. I'm catch up on everything that's happened. It's been a newsy day, believe me at the U.S. Open, just download the U.S. Open app, catch up on everything, the scores, the highlights, all kinds of news.
Love it in. Love that in. so quickly yeah. and he still manages to half volley. One of the times he got the half volley down the line. This time hips it behind Rublev. Beautifully done. Agassian. Yeah. Obviously, this fourth set, but Tiafo's first serve so far in this set, letting them down. So, could use a freebie here. Big second serve. Uh, 40 30. Went for it, 112 miles an hour right at the body. Yes. It's actually the best Tiafo's hit the ball is these last three games. He's just not serving well, so he's having to hit the ball well. 27% first serves. He hasn't lost the pop on his... On this ground pop, strokes. Uh, yeah, he hasn't lost his foot speed either. Again, Tiafo. Tiafo leads two games to one and four to set, and by two sets to one. in the fourth. Oh. Here it comes. Yeah, that play's working. Love it, Dean. Great down 
Woodruff's second serve even more. Uh, last one went for 88 miles an hour. It's, it's been shaking of late. Not as obvious a play here in the ad court for, for Tiafo. 15 all. In the end, he should probably just go deep and in the Ex middle, right? Exactly. Thirty fifteen. There's a couple of strange forehands from Tiafa. One off the very yeah. <laughs> end of his racket and somehow went in. <laughs> Forty fifteen. It's funny how just one point makes a difference. Love fifteen. He oh. second serve sitting there with nothing on it. Makes that error. Game over left. Serves out Two games old, four sets. Nervous. Yep. Rublev now with 18 aces. Tiafoe's one ahead of him. Numbers are crazy in some ways. It's 17 forehand winners to 16 <laughs> Rublev leads. Total winners, though, are 51 50 for Tiafo. It's The whole match has been. They're both serving at 59%. Yeah. Vince enough. Got to be very careful running around your back and hitting inside in, trying to get to net. Cross-court forehand is there for the taking. Rulev, just a little too much air under it. How about this total winners? Rublev 50, Tiafo 51. Yeah. <laughs> and the difference That's the one ace, because they count aces in the winners right. total, so. Fifteen on great second serve, a three sixty spin. Decent approach, but that was a beautiful pass, just a flick of the wrist. Thirty fifteen. Goodness for Tiafo, he's due for some first serves. He's at 32% percentage this set. He's had to fight his way through a couple of tough service games. Interesting watching these two win the rally. And you do eventually will end oh. either in a win or one of those errors that you see after a few shots. There's not many extended rallies. Part of that is neither of them back up. Yeah. They just take full swings, and I'm going to stand toe to toe with you. And it usually someone's hitting big and forward, the other player's back. Right. No. This is an all macho match. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. Just one more stat that's it's sort, of, even. It's sort of interesting is Rublev's leading 133 points to 132. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to work the thing. Well, you never know. He might. He's so quick and has great instincts at the net, Tiafo. He, he could keep running up there. Leads three against the two, four the sets, and by two sets to one. Really good stuff, Tiafo. Three games away from an important win. Just had some stats up on the big board. The average rally, shots per rally, three. That sounds about right. They have one run, 16 shots. Love, 15. Yeah, a couple of others, but in general. That was a good. unicorn. Yeah. It's been a serve plus one, and if that goes over, the guy's going to hit as hard as he can anyway for plus two or three. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. And hitting so hard, you probably want to not just chip it short, but keep it under the height of the net. Three hours long, fifteen thirty. A little bit of an opening here, perhaps. Second serve doesn't have as many answers, Tiafo, in the ad court, except for the double faults, which he's got the number. Fifteen thirty. And that's his second for the match. But six of those seven happening sort of towards the end of the last set. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Tiafo leads four games well, to two, four sets. To serve for the third set, he spent so much time trying to get the crowd involved that he sort of forgot to hold serve the next game. Right now, he's been the better player for the last, this Thank you. most of this set. Put your mind in this game right here. Don't worry about the crowd any longer. It's on your racket. You don't need them. said get to net more often, but that felt one of those. I don't want to be a rally run to the net. He didn't really have his opponent out of position at all. 
which is kind of what I was afraid of after the way he sort of reacted to the break of serve. He needs four serves, Tiafa. Find a way out of this game with a little help. Get some cheap points. Love it was the feeling I had. Yeah, he kind of took a victory lap after that break yeah. in the last game. Tiafo leads four games to three, four two sets. Away. A couple of breaks in a row, and now we're back on serve. Tiafo is serving in this set at 39%. Rublev's at 63. Let's see if that helps him. Get that out of here. <laughs> 15 all. Yeah, they both have 19 aces. One thirty-nine to one thirty-nine in total points. Thirteen, fifteen. Forty, fifteen. serves in because his second serve is being dealt with reasonably harshly yes. now. Game, Rublev. Four games all, four sets. His box almost. Some help me. All of a sudden, uh, I can feel the momentum going the other direction. Just lose serve at love. It's six points in a row on a serve. Yep. Yelling now, and he 
That's 15 sort of, 30. He's imitating Tiafo's ability to take his strike of a return deep and half volley it with power. He just sort of imitated it. Shows you that's annoying him. Jammed on that return. Able to take a pretty strongly hit forehand. Take the backhand down the line beautifully. to four, four to set. Yeah, four leads by two sets to one. Serve out this set. Take it five. Fifty enough. Twenty uh, twenty of these for him. Literally minutes ago, Tiafo was yeah. two sets to one, four to serving. Thirty enough. Very quickly set points for Ruba. I don't think it's that Tiafo is physically tired. There's none of that. It's just there's a little low all of a sudden from him. Game and fourth set to the match. Six games to four. Two sets all. This one's going the distance. Start of the fifth. Fifth enough. There's 20 of each. 25T. It's been ebbs and flows on who's sort of dictating play from the back, who's winning the rallies. For early stages of that fourth set, it was Tiafo till he got the 4 2 lead. Now it feels more and more like Tiafo needs first serves, or he's struggling to win the rally once we're on even terms.
Forty New balls, please. First game, final set. Neither of these guys have distinguished themselves really in five set matches. I know. Can someone Tiafo get that? Right? Abysmal at two and ten. Beat John Melman in a five set, which to me that's that's one of the tougher ones. This was a big yeah. yeah. way to get through it because he's a very physical player to deal with. Yeah, he's beating him. Round of 64 at the 20. Actually, his other one was Andreas Seppi, another guy that's sort of mentally very strong and is going to make you play a million shots. You got to beat him. You got him with the Australian Thank you. in 2019, but he's lost all the others. Lost to Isner in five here, Federer in five. Remember that? That was also yeah. here. Is Barrett in five? Lift enough. At the U.S. Open. And then he's lost a bunch of five sitters at Roland Garros. To Fonini. Fonovic. Oh. He lost to Fonini in five on grass at Wimbledon a couple of years back. Oh. This year at Wimbledon, he lost to Stevie Johnson. Two sets to love up if I is that right? Yeah. Actually no, Stevie was up two sets. That's it. back and then lost six one in the first. Andre Rublev hasn't even played that many. He's three and five in five setters. He sort of goes ahead and beats everybody comfortably, doesn't go <laughs> five very often. That's it's true, isn't it? <laughs> In this match, is that second serve points are becoming more and more difficult as the match wears on for a move to win. Rublev has, for the match, served a pretty nice percentage of firsts. Fifteen. If he does manage to play a brilliant point here and get the break, just get straight back to business. Yeah. Oh, that was almost brilliant. Thirteen. And if it had 14. gone in, he was gonna, yeah, he was gonna run around and yeah. jump in the seats and high five people. In. Yeah. Therefore, it's two games to love for the 23 year old American. Final set. Hang in there, man. Yeah, that's right. Right here. Right there. Yeah. Keep going. This second series losing steam. Tiafo's dealing with it the way he should. Oh, that was 80 miles an hour. And it's right in the middle of the box. Short. Last two times he's broken Rublev, he's dropped serve immediately after. Thank you. And in ugly fashion. So it's important. A few first serves in here. Try to consolidate a break. Oh. 
Love of team. Now they both have seven double points. Very solid stuff from Tiafo at that point because Rugo's almost accustomed to when he's when Tiafo has the lead, I gotta play solid and Tiafo's gonna give me a few points. He did not give him that point. It's 22nd forehand winner. Not too long ago, Rugo had won more than Tiafo did, so Tiafo's forehand's starting to pay some dividends late in this match. Oh. Oh. 30 15. Most of the times Rublev has been up there is because he's been brought up. Yeah, dragged in. Oh, in. Worry about motioning the ball to go low. Yes. Get back there and hit the shot. Yeah. Yeah, no time to complicate this. No. Yeah. It's complicated enough. <laughs> And John McEnroe's got his own academy here in Randall's Island, not far from here. And I said, I asked him once, I said, what's the one thing you find yourself telling your kids more than anything else? And he said, don't beat yourself. Rublev at the net, sort of. 
Well, I mean, if, if you can hit shots like that, why not be up there? Are you kidding me? I mean, look at this look shot. Yes. A little swing, too. That's the thing that's amazing. Jeff showing some signs that he's starting to get tired. Not, I mean, he had very little chance on the next ball, but he was not going to run. Yeah. He was not going to get back. If he is tired, it's a good thing. So Advantage, Jeff you're less nervous at a certain point of tiredness. <laughs> you need to be fresh enough to play, but. Right. Nearly two o'clock and already three and a half hours old this match. Jeffrey leads three games to La France. Yeah, this would be a this would be a big win for him. Up four two in the fourth set is Tiago and Sorbet. And he couldn't win that set, but looks for all the world like he's gonna win this one and move on. I'd feel a little lot better if I'm a Tiafo fan if he got up a double break. Fifteen <laughs> 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 Going on on these returns. I mean, Tiafo was just guessing and ripping. <laughs> oh, like Rublev, both returned so aggressively. Yeah. Did he all look back down to either one of them? No. Swattage with wattage. Interesting second serve. Mm. He's ripping coming in. Does it as well as anybody closes beautifully. Tiafo leads four games to love. Final set. And a big win at Wimbledon. First round, he knocked out City Pass. He played some good grass court tennis in the weeks before Wimbledon. City Pass came in cold after his French championship match. And he lost in five to Djokovic. I didn't keep going. Love it in. Yeah, this is this is different, isn't it? Well, we'll see. But this is to get to the round of 16, not just second round as right. Wimbledon was. And that it's going to be about 2.30 in the morning when he gets done with this thing or so, and that means he's going to be asleep at 5. Yeah. 
and it's just right. know, not perfect preparation for the next match. has finally sort of broken Rublev down. Beauty of the way Rublev plays, doesn't matter what the score is to him. He's just going to reach back and swing hard. <laughs> he can do it all day. He's not, he's not tired. Tiafo looks a half step slower, but I think it's actually made him almost more effective in this set because he's playing so aggressively. <laughs> Mr. Rublev is requesting a replay of the call on the left near sideline. That's his 22nd ace. I don't know why Rublev wanted to relive it, because yeah. he just got to see it again on the, on the scoreboard that that serve was just touching. Yes. This game, that one right on the line. Another ace just touching the line. That's disgusting Rublev in some ways, but that was a brilliant backhand, backhand rally. Finished with that winner. Four love, two breaks, and you still feel like this game's really, really <laughs> important. Okay. And Tiapo's had a couple of game points, hasn't converted them. Rublev looks eager still. Oh. A great serve. Rublev actually read it. Gets An advantage, Tiapo. To love fun sets. This is some fun set. Showing a lot tonight. Mm -hmm. 
when he deserves to stay in this, this match. Fifteen This set, no forehand or backhand winners for Rublo. Let for sir. And actually, more amazingly, zero unforced errors. It's just sort of Tiafo's doing everything. Hit winners or missing. Thirteen, thirteen. Pretty good looking second serve. Hit that, the line. You know, that was a I'm down five love. Yeah. You've attacked every one of my second <laughs> serves Correct. and I just kick it in. I'm not gonna let you do it again. Forty, fifteen. Game, oh, That's his biggest serve. Tiafo leads five Third. games to one. The final set. Most likely too little too late, but let's wait till it's over. Thank you. Fifteen up. Six, six, three, seven, six, four, six, six, one.